Alright, this is how you change the background for your iPod video, the 5.0 and 5.5 generation, so this is how you do it. First, open up your internet and go to google.com. Then once you're at Google, hit over here at images and then go down here where it says advanced image search and just for example you will use the Simpsons and down here where it says size you want to click extra large and just Google search it and what you want to do is find a picture that's always 1600 by 1200 because those are the only ones that could work well, we'll do this one right now wait no that's 1600 by 1600 Let's just find, well, this one right here, 1600 by, no. This one, 1600 by 1200. You gotta go to see full size image. Alright, once it's right here, just click, save as. Just save it to your desktop, name it The Simpsons. You don't have to name it, but it's easier to find. And just click save. Yes, now minimize the internet. Alright, once you got your picture, open up your iPod Wizard and load the firmware that you downloaded. It could either be 5.0 or 5.5. Just double click it. And just wait for your iPod, to, I mean your computer to load. Alright, once your computer loaded the firmware, what you want to do is go to Firmware Editor right here. It says Pictures. On the index, go to number 282. 282. Which is right here. It'll look like this. But since you don't want that as your background, go to load bitmap right here on the side. Load bitmap. And load the Simpsons picture that we just downloaded. Oh, but wait, wait. Hit cancel. We forgot to... We have to resize the picture. Right here, right click it. Hit right, resize pictures. Go to custom, custom. You have to hit advance first, then go to custom. Then type in 320 by 240. 320 by 240, and hit OK. It'll make a copy of the picture. Wait. All right, we'll just try that again. Resize picture, advanced. 320 by 240. Hit OK. Alright, it's down here. It'll say custom 2. Now open up Pod Wizard. Then go to load bitmap and look for the Simpsons picture. Just double click it and it'll appear right here. Then on top it'll say width. It'll be 320 by 240. And once it's right there, you, that the picture that you have, just hit right to iPod. And once you click that, it's going to say your iPod's going to be modded. Just hit OK again. And just wait a little bit, and it'll say that your iPod has been modded. And then once that's done, you have to eject your iPod, but make sure it stays connected the whole time, or else you'll screw it up. But then you can just reset it later. But make sure you just hit eject. And then your iPod will be reboot and be connected to your computer, and you'll see the background from your iPod. It'll just it'll be behind the Do Not Disconnect logo. So that's how you change it.